YouTube uh, subscribers, whatever. Um, this little video, little drum exercises to practice, loosen up your hands, and some good things every drummer should know. Um, first of all, get yourself like a little practice pad. You know, I have one. One of my good friends gave it to me. It's a stick bag and a practice pad. So take it with you wherever you gotta play. Right before you gotta play, you go warm up. It's cool. Pro Mark, good brand. I like it. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, good way to keep practicing without waking up your neighbors or your pops, your moms. Anyways, this is it. Let's get to it. Okay. You know, simple exercises. Uh, you know, your singles. You know, practicing that. Practice that. You know, it's just right, left, right, left, right, left and so on and so forth until, you know, practice with a metronome. With a metronome is importante. Uh, let me see. That's a basic one. Another one, another basic one, your doubles, you know, double stroke row. Right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. Again, practice with a metronome. Keep it at a steady pace and then build it up. Don't, you know, start right back and then go fast. No, don't do that because then, you mess up your internal clock, you know, not internal, your internal metronome. So like that, you're not gonna be able to uh, keep time as well. So just practice with a metronome first until you're comfortable with it. And then just build it up, you know, start from one day, do, you know, a certain time and then the next day, you know, put another one in the next day until, you know, you're comfortable with it. So that's, you know, your doubles. Another important one I will tell you is the five stroke roll. Five stroke roll consists of five hits, two doubles, and one single. Five. One, two, three, four, five. So you know, praise that. Five, 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 five. Practice that one, but just don't go with your right. You know, go back, back, go right, right, left, left, right, left, left, right. You know, just switch it up. You know, make sure you work on your left hand as much as you do with your right hand. I know it's gonna be a little harder, but that's a challenge. And you know, as soon as you start seeing results with it, uh, you'll be happy and like you'll feel good about it, and then you want to keep going just so you can build it up more. Okay, let's see. Speed. A lot of people have asked me about speed. I'm not fast, but you know, there's a lot of faster drummers than me. But there's a way you gotta get there. You just don't, you don't just go metiendo tal way. No, you gotta do it right. If not, you're gonna fuck up your wrist. You know, I know, I know drummers that mess up the wrist. You know, they get that what's that thing called carpal tunnel, I think, in the wrist. And, you know, you'll be out for a couple weeks or so. You don't want that to happen to you. So proper stick technique, holding, well my book, from what I was taught, you know, the speed comes from your fingers, your fingers, not your wrist, your wrist, there's only so much you can do, it's all mainly your fingers, uh, so you know, what I do is, you know, how I started first is, you know, grab it like that, and then just let the fingers do, let the fingers do all the movement, you know. I've seen some drummers, you know, that they'll play, you know, they'll move their hands, you know. They move their hands a lot and shit. To me, that looks messy, you know. It's messy, but, you know, you just gotta work on it. Just practice, practice, practice. Okay. So, like that, you know, start off. You know, hold it. It's mainly, you know, start off your, in, your uh, index finger and your thumb. And then bring in your middle finger, your ring finger, and your pinky. Just keep going. Again, uh, if you can't practice with a metronome, if you don't have one, there is many apps, you know, either it's Apple or Android. There's many apps that you can you can download, you know, for a free metronome. So there's no excuse why you shouldn't practice with one. So 
if you have trouble doing that, where you see your hand going like that, hold your hand. Hold, hold your, like, your hand with your other hand and just start off slow. And then if you, if you see your hand moving, just, you know, hold it with your hand and just go like that. Start off slow and then just build up the speed from there. If you get blisters in your hands, it's not because you're playing too much, it's because you're holding the stick wrong. So, let me see, okay, so from right there, you know, price right there, then you, you'll get, your hand will relax more to the stick, and eventually you'll be able to hold the stick right, and be able to use your fingers a lot. When it comes to blisters, it's because you're either gripping it too hard, and you're gripping the stick, the stick too much, you know, just don't grip it hard, just, you know, let it relax, and if you get a blister to while you're playing, you know, just... Loosen up your hand a little bit, you know, not too much or the sticks is gonna fall off, but just loosen it just a little bit, just enough. And then, you know, blister will stop growing, they will go away, but keep that in mind, you know. I right now lately I've been playing the tamborados, I've been playing like three, four hours, five hours a night, and I don't get blisters. Just, you know, practice on that. You know, your, your practice pad, you know, practice, you know, those, those things for now, you know, singles, doubles, and the five stroke roll. Those are basic ones, you know, there's still more basic ones, but you know, I think these are probably more, more important for now. You know, if you're starting off, or not even if you're starting off, you've been playing for a while, you probably don't know, you probably just grab the sticks, you know, a long time ago, and you just want to be able to start playing. But that's important, you know. Also, another thing, when you're playing, you probably can't see me in the camera, but when you're playing, have your back straight, you know, a good, you know, what would you say, 90 degree angle, whatever. You know, sit up straight. Don't slouch. Don't have your hands resting on your on your legs when you're practicing more you know, like that. No, keep them up. Don't be a lazy drummer. Keep them up and just, you know, practice that, you know. Again, with all the other ones, like your doubles, hold your hand. If it moves much, you know, hold it and then. Just practice like that, you know. Uh, the thing about playing instruments, it's called, it's muscle memory, you know. You have to, your muscles basically have to memorize the position that it has to be in. And once it does, everything will come, everything will start flowing smoother and easier. And it'll be second nature. You'll just do it without even thinking about it. it you know, it, it's, I know it gets boring to practice, but, you know, you can improve it. So, for that, for now, you know, you practice like that, you know, get a pad, you practice pad, you know. Maybe not this one, maybe you find another one. A good practice pad, 10 bucks. Go to your Sam Ash, your Guitar Center, any music store, you know, 10 bucks, and you can find one. Any more other questions? If this, if this little exercise thing sucked, or I wasn't clear about something, you know, just let me know. Message me, you know, leave me a comment, or Facebook my answer or some shit. But that's it for now. Peace.